We've yeah. investigated here before. Yeah. Yeah. From our EVPs, it's like they don't want anybody to know they're here. Uh, and Maybe they, because they're not have names of the previous person? They didn't give us any names, no. So that way we can see if they're still hanging out here. Uh, but they were, well, one of them was female. Okay. Well, the stories I heard is that Mrs. Gregus used to be always dressed in period wear and hanging out, and she is since past, so a lot of people... the environment where the maintenance staff works, which is right here, and they have to deal with it. I know some of our housekeepers play the music, so that way they, they don't, don't have, have to. to. <laughs> <laughs> right, sure. It is sometimes a struggle to get to get the employees to come down here. So okay. I'll take you kind of the tour that I got when I arrived. Okay. Perfect. So Sounds great. This is the laundry room. Where okay. They do all the um, laundry and get the rooms clean. Back to a couple of you'll be able to tell me if it was better or watch your step here. Or is the clutter here? <laughs> Just be careful with this wet floor here. <coughs> so as we go back to here, this is our water heating system. Wow, I'll say. A lot of history here. Wow. We do give tours periodically, and um, we get offers for large amounts of money. I'm for sure you do. All this furniture, but we can't part with it at this time due to the historical nature. Oh, absolutely. Right. Well, and this may be why some of your non-paying right. residents are sticking around because they may be attached, maybe, to yes, some of this. release the steam so ah, okay. that's where most of their you know encounters or experiences happen is when they're all alone kind of in the uh, night but you know the dark does yes it does you know, add yeah. a different dynamic when you're down here in the middle of the oh night. it does and this this is the quintessential creepy basement you know right. we, we, we love this I mean this is I mean you don't get much better than this and you know we never could figure out you know why the spirits like to hang out in these kind of places but you know we just love that they do so you know this whole this it might be because a lot of people store you know store stuff in their basements right sure so that's where a lot of history is sure. yeah this is where everything you, you know, all, the, all the history is because it's all the older stuff kind of that right they right want to part with but they right they sure just, they, absolutely they don't want it in the main living space. right now are you picking up anything while we're down here Bonnie? there's several spirits down here okay actually. they're kind of just all over okay a little background on us, she's a psychic medium, oh, so wow. she picks up on, you awesome. know, the human spirits. I'm also a psychic medium, but my direction or what I communicate with are animals. Oh, wow. So I can speak either to the living animals or I can speak to past oh, animals. Cool. And I can tell you for sure you've got a resident cat that likes to roam around um, yes. up in a lobby. And yeah. also they down through here, I can feel it, you know, down through here. There Have you is. had stories or? No, as far as living, I know there's living. Okay, no, you got you actually yeah, have, you a have a spirit a, cat yeah. that that, wow. that walks around, likes to make his home in the uh, in the lobby, and I can feel him down here. So he must oh, like awesome. to come down here. Maybe he tries to keep your you know your ghost mouse problem at a bay. I don't, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Well, now that you mention that, one of um, our bartender who has to come down here, he said he hears. Um, meows or stuff like cat noises but there's huh? never anything around but we just figured it was you know the cats that come sneak down here every every once in a while because there is a access point from the street and that's why we've you'll see as we walk around there's like keep the door shut or the cats will go into the lobby kind of oh, okay so <laughs> okay there's a lot of those as well okay well i can they tell you for sure you, by one. <laughs> yeah well i can tell you for sure you definitely have a ghost cat here that's awesome and they do uh they do run around down here and uh, it's a it's a female cat. She's kind of coming through to me now. It's a female cat. Um, been here for quite a long time. Likes your lobby. Um, trying to get likes it. Really likes it down here. Uh, 
and kind of enjoy is I think if you talk to some of your employees, I think you're going to find they, they see something out of the corner of their eye running and it kind of scares them and this, this cat really enjoys that. I think it kind of gets a kick out of, you know, <laughs> seeing, you know, people kind of jump and, and, and get out of the of, way. Can you tell what kind of breed she is? Um, it's, it's a kind of a long hair. I'm seeing dark right now. Okay. Um, maybe a mancoon, like a kind of long hair, like a tabby. Because that's exactly thing. what I was getting. Okay. And I, I don't communicate with yeah, dead animals. Yeah, that's certainly animals, what's but. here. Uh, maybe as we walk around, I'll be able to, you know, feel it more and uh, see if it has a name. But uh, right now, I think it's just kind of your resident ghost cat that uh, for right now, we'll just call it Gadsden. Wow. So let's do that. <laughs> so, yes, thank you. Lead on. Absolutely. Oops. We even had a huge lizard that we had to... Oh, really? Wow. 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 That's interesting. That is very interesting. Let's see if they have the keys to the gate one so I can take you guys also into the little lounge. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. We have a man with us, just so you know. Okay. He's got like a top hat on, oh. and <clears throat> a top hat and coat, like a tuxedo jacket. Oh, okay. Go for us. Okay. Continue our tour. Oh, sure. He's walking around. A lot, of, a lot of this is where I heard the voice myself. It was right passing through here. Okay. But a lot of our employees. Don't go past this mark. So <laughs> okay. Like going that way. All right. Well, this is exactly the kind of area we like to go. So. And that is a, a storage that we have not. We don't have access to. Okay. This is what we call like the speakeasy lounge, but she's gonna get the keys. Okay. Oh, cool. when, when I was here, this is the maintenance portion. Okay. They introduced this to me as the former like. Um, what do you call those? Bath areas, Turkish bath areas. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. I'm not sure if how true that is, but um, there is also another room back that way. I'm not okay. sure. It's more. This is definitely kind of an activity area for the staff. So, okay. The maintenance. The guys don't really mention much to me, and they're here a bunch. So, and there's also another area where there's a bunch of old doors in that area back there. Wow. And this is probably one of the more original places of the hotel, I would imagine, right. too, because this is, that's great. Yeah, there is that kind of a creepy vibe I'm picking up down here, which is good. And yeah, the guy uh, that's with us now, he was at a party. Oh. Um, long, you know, obviously a long time ago, because he's got like a top, he's all dressed up. Oh, that's um, very interesting. Top hat and coats and, you know. Yeah, we'll see if he follows us. and Trying to get his name, but he's not telling me yet, but... I'll try to get his credit card number so we can give it to him so we can pay. <laughs> Let me get these keys real quick so we can go after these. Yes. Do you know what key it is to get in there? Yeah. Okay, I know it's one of these ones. Thank you. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can do in here. I think it's the coolest little area that we have. One of these three. Stuffy again. Okay. Come on in. Oh, we have here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. They say that the owner's some... daughter used to throw parties down here, and there used to be poker tables. and. Poker I was just going to say that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a lot of activity down yeah. here. Yeah. Of... With card playing and drinking and. Yeah. This Absolutely. My favorite room when I come down here. Absolutely. Oh, this has got a nice, nice vibe to it. It does here. have a nice vibe. I don't get a creepy vibe no, or anything not from here. Creepy it was, whatsoever. Everybody no. enjoyed themselves when they were here. Yes, this the kind of makes me feel the same way. I'm, I'm yeah, it was a good vibe. Yeah, very happy, very upbeat, yeah. and it still stays that way. So that's good. This is really, this is a very cool room. Are you picking up anything else while we're here? Or? Well, there, you know, there's a lot of energy in this room, which might be why I feel like it was such a good 
vibrant place, um, very happy and loud and, um, you know, which that kind of environment can invoke, you know, negative stuff too, a lot of bar fights or whatnot, but I don't get that here. Uh, you know, I'm really feeling like it was a good, fun place. And this guy is, maybe that's why that guy came to me, to show us the speakeasy because maybe he was here or a frequent flyer of this place. Interesting. Yeah, it's a very, very cool place. There's a lot of energy in here. A lot of... Well, maybe as we walk around, energy. we'll get some more information and hopefully be able to pass it on. But, you know, this is a, such a good energy right here. I don't want to try to bring anything in right now. So we'll just leave it as is. I think they're just they're still partying here. That's yeah. what I really think. That's awesome. We'll have to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Pass that along. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody loves this part of the I want to say that guy's name is Ben, or it starts with a B, like Benjamin, not ah, Ben. Benjamin. Like it, that was okay. too... He was a very proper man. But I get that he really he liked his drink, though, I think. He did like his drink. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. We leave it like that because it kind of adds to the... It the, does. It adds to the effect. To the effect, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's put the lock back on here. And we'll head this way. Okay. Down to the right is... Well, they used to store all the liquor. Ah. Oh, okay. It was a lot, a lot more spacious until we were just recently cleaning up the kitchen. So that, but there's some old, you know, chairs, bed frames, a lot of lamps, an old jukebox that. Wow. Oh, wow. Down here. Very. Wow, interesting. that's very awesome. I think that's so so amazing. So a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of energy down here, a lot of... Oh, wow. yeah, look at that, wow. This is the stairs that go to nowhere. It's oh. Control me. Ah, okay. They can cement it off. And then... Interesting. Just so you get to watch your step here. Okay. This is where the cats and stuff come up. Ah, okay. Got it. There's a weird leak here that we have to take care of. Set of stairs that go nowhere. Ah, okay. We're just not sure why. Yeah, a little of a creepier vibe in this area here, but not not bad, just a little creepier. <laughs> yeah, this is well, you can really hear the street sounds. Yes, yeah, you can. it's right above the street right there. It's the street. Yeah, so hopefully. Yeah, okay. We'll Are let you, you lead the way. Are you running the recorder? I am not yet because we we got so much so much noise going on here, it'd be hard to decipher yet. Okay. All right. This is maze kind of, of rooms that we have here. Yeah. Not sure why there'd be this many rooms in a You know, in, in old hotel, buildings, though, well, they storage. tended to do that. Yeah, that's true. A lot of storage and... We were know. thinking, because there's so many rooms like that, and showers and stuff, that maybe this is where the employees might have mm -hmm. stayed. No, that's very true. During the times when, when they were very rocking in this part <laughs> of the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. yeah. It was a pretty raucous town back then, so... Very interesting. Now, has there been any reports of anything in this room, no, or is this no, kind of another? Here. It's mostly the hallway. The ah. hallway that people complain to me about anyway since I've been here. Okay. Coming back and forth, and yes. probably coming in and out of the speakeasy. Yeah. <laughs> and here's another room. I'm not sure where the one is. Well, you have a flashlight. Yeah, wow. Oh, this is a cool. 
Oh, oh there we go. Ah, oh, the TV room. Well, yes, this is. Offer to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The TV room. Okay. Yeah, we'll just call this the TV room. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah see, I'm picking zero up here. Yeah, I'm not getting anything Nothing here either. Here at all. Like activity. Yep. So, yeah, that's. Huh. Interesting old room. It is. It was a great old room. little hiding places for my employees. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet. That's what I want. And the radio frequencies don't really work in here, so they have a lot of places to hide. Ah. Uh, okay. So this is where we store all the Christmas decorations, because during the Christmas time, it's, it's very, very well, the, yes. Uh, and there's a little hallway here to the next room, where the staircase here will lead to the... Um, oh, okay. To the building, some of the buildings. Oh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Another room here, sure. This is where we keep the, the old stage. Ah. They put in the lobby for some events. Okay. Ah. Yeah, again, pretty much neutral here. I'm not really picking yeah. up a whole lot here. Very neutral. <coughs> but very interesting. Wow, I just love all the little rooms down oh, here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely cool. Very and interesting. There's, you know, the end of the tour. That's where, ah, another, okay. you know, where they used to bring the cargo down. Oh, okay, yeah. Right, there. right, okay. right. Wow. Boy, if this wow. could talk, you never know. So I swear There's I'm... a little boy that joined us, just to let you know. Little boy? Little boy. About time period, you know? Or... Um, probably about 30s. Ah, huh? okay. He's about eight or nine, wearing a little cap. Uh... I want to say he helped. He worked. He worked here, or he. I know that they um, say that a boy fell out of a window here. Oh. That's one of the stories I oh, heard really? when I when I when I got here. That's one of the things that they told me is he was trying to reach for something and he fell. Um, that's one of hmm. possibly it was a little boy. That's what they've told me. Oh, well, there you go. That, that could be. There you go. That's a little validation there. So, so you think maybe he, yeah, he's, he helped here? Maybe that's bring what I'm getting. Yeah, okay. it's like he helped bring in stuff. Um, maybe he helped his dad. Yeah, very interesting. Well, a little validation. So we know, you know, you have a boy here for sure now. But he's, you know, he's a good, you know, good spirit. Good, good. So this is the grand tour of the Gaston lobby. Okay. <coughs> it definitely doesn't have the, the same effect as you when, you when you're in the middle of the night. No, no, yeah. The no, nothing has the same effect during the day as it does during the night. The night so. But still, you know, it's one of the benefits for us because we can pick stuff up day or night so we can, you know. That's, that's what's very interesting. I enjoy the company. <laughs> <laughs> well, we certainly appreciate you taking us around down here. This is, and, and you know, maybe the little boy was trying to communicate with me because it was a soft, non-threatening kind of hello. He, he probably right. was just while, saying hi. A lot of the people also, I forgot to show you, they hear growling coming from this. So I don't know if it's huh. just the high voltage, but uh, yeah, two or could three be. have told me that they've heard noises from this area. So Interesting. Now, just uh, just out of curiosity here, this is a this is a meter. It's called a, a K2 meter. It measures electromagnetic frequencies, and you can see normally it's supposed to be no lights on at all. But as you can see, there's it's all the way up to about a 2.5 to almost oh, it's going up to almost 10 uh, milligauss, which is a lot of EMF, a lot of electromagnetic field. The thing is with these, see how far up that's going. If people are sensitive to electromagnetic fields, which some people are. And they, they may not know it. And they may not know it. So even people coming in, yeah, I just heard like a, a click or almost like a growl there, which is that's your, your high voltage. But people coming down here, especially in your, your laundry area and stuff like that, if they're sensitive to it, 
they're going to feel like a, a sense of dread. They're going to feel like somebody's watching them. They're going to feel, you know, kind yes, of uneasy. Yes, well, I've heard that before. Yeah. Okay. And that's what generally happens when you're around this kind of a, a high voltage area. And like I say, you can see how high it is just right here. So, if, you know, if we walk down here, I'm sure it would probably spike up to the red. So, you know, in this area here is what they call a fear cage is what the term is, where there's just so much EMF and then people who are sensitive, again, they'll, you know, get a little bit... Is somebody uh, back there? Leery. No, that's the oh, high that voltage. Oh, that is the, okay. Yeah. That's the high yeah, I've never heard up. it until we were standing here. So, well, it's good that you heard it, though. Yes. So, if your employees are saying, "Hey, I'm hearing something over here," you can say, "Well, you know." Kind of sounded but, like somebody yeah, you coughing. Can see. Right, right, you know, right. Right. Yeah, when you're uh, by yourself. Yeah. With, right. There's the, there's no water. Right, and it might echo, you know, yes. and going yeah. on. But you can see how high that is. That's an extremely high amount of EMF. So anybody who's even remotely sensitive to it is going to feel when they walk by here. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why they're feel feeling it in here too. Is, nausea, if someone's, yeah. you know, behind you. Because that's a All lot. Kinds of one of my weird. employees in particular feels that way, so she doesn't. She's one of the ones that doesn't come down here without somebody. Okay, well, that may be something you want to explain to her, and that's that's awesome. generally what we do like, for people when we go into homes or businesses. We try to figure out why people are feeling what they're feeling. And typically, in your home, like your microwave or your electric, your alarm clock, if you have one next to your bed, everybody has cell phones now. But if you, they set, they will spike it as well because they right. set off a lot of EMF in the home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this may put her mind at ease. That's that. You know, what she's feeling here may not be a you know, a spirit or a ghost, so to speak, it just may, she may have just so a very much electricity, high, yeah. yeah, susceptibility to the electromagnetic field. And like I say, you can see yourself, it, it's, you know, it gets really high really quick. So wow, very interesting. that may be something that maybe ease her mind a little bit saying, hey, it's not, you know, it may not Spirits be a ghost. Spirits are friendly, but you might be feeling this. <laughs> you might be feeling the fuzzies from this, basically, yeah. So just something you may want to pass on to some of your more timid employees that don't like the feeling down here. This is probably why right here. It's not really so much the ghost as it is, you know, the high EMFs. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. thank well, you. I think there's a room or two to your left if you guys want to explain. If you want to go back in there, uh, there's another room as well right there. And this one is really not much in here. Oh, so, uh, <coughs> well, this is woodworking. OK. Yeah, this is kind of a maintenance area back here, yeah. but there's another spirit here. Yeah, I'm picking up some a little bit of a blip on the. Yeah, there's K2. another spirit here yeah, too. I hear a lot. That's why I forgot, but I wanted to show you there is people feel like they're a little uneasy after they pass through right there. Yeah, she said there's somebody yeah, there, actually. There's a man here. He's older, maybe in his 60s. I'll let uh, Mike you know, our maintenance. He worked. He worked here, <laughs> or he, you know. I think he worked here. That's what he's telling me. Yeah, he he liked to build things. So I don't know if that's why he hangs out here, but he like he was a builder. Maybe he was. I don't know what he did here. Oh, is yeah. it next to your phone or? No, no, it's okay. it's actually well, right here. So he's actually it's actually spiking a little bit more than it was. Okay. So he may be uh, coming around more. So were you okay? Can you back away? Okay. Were you, hold on a second, I'm going to ask you a question, and if it's, if it's yes, make the light slide up. If it's no, don't do anything. So were you over, you know, 60 years old? No. Were you over 50? Were you over 70? Not cooperating. He, he's not cooperating, but he's an older man. That's what he's telling me. Well, he may not know what's going on here, so we're just visiting. Do you want to talk to us? If you want to talk to us, you need to make the lights light up. No, are you sh camera shy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You don't like having your picture taken? Okay. Okay. So well, that may be it. Yep. I, ap I appreciate it. We yep. know you're here. We, we just understand. wanted validation. But that's fine. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, le we'll leave you in your space. We don't want to intrude on you. But, uh, yep, you're welcome. And uh, we'll go ahead and leave here and leave yep. you to what you're doing. And, yep. and, and get back to what on. you were doing. Yep. That's...
He liked to be by himself. That's, that's he didn't like a lot of people around. He was a very kind of solitary man. Probably why I liked it down here. Down here, you're right. Yeah. <laughs>